question on thin cylinders. Let's read what is given here. A cylindrical shell of 900 mm long, 200 mm internal diameter and 8 mm thickness is filled with an incompressible fluid at atmospheric pressure. If additional 20 cm cube fluid is pumped into the cylinder, comma, find pressure exerted by the fluid on the cylinder, the first question, and hoop stress induced, that is the second question. So now, let us try to write the data for this question. In given data, first I will draw a thin cylinder. This thin cylinder contains incompressible fluid as mentioned in the problem. Yep. Here is an incompressible fluid. Small d is the internal diameter for this thin cylinder and small t would be the thickness. Now this is filled with an incompressible fluid whose volume is also given. I will read the question again and write the data. A cylindrical shell of 900 mm long length is given 900 mm 200 mm internal diameter small d and 8 mm thickness small t is filled with an incompressible fluid at atmospheric pressure. If additional 20 centimeter cube fluid is pumped into the cylinder, that is additional volume. I will write this as V1, additional volume which is pumped, that is equal to 20 centimeter cube fluid is pumped into the cylinder. Find pressure exerted by the fluid on the cylinder. So the first question is we have to calculate how much is the internal pressure developed which exerts a force on the cylinder wall second is hoop stress induced we have to find out the value of sigma suffix h now this is the problem which we have in front of us let us try to get the solution for this i will write the solution here now the question is here this cylinder is pumped or it is filled with incompressible fluid we can assume that incompressible fluid is water because here they have not mentioned the type of fluid. So when this cylinder would be filled with incompressible fluid, there are chances of this cylinder to change its volume because of the internal pressure. So I'll say that since change in volume because of incompressible fluid, that change in volume will be delta V is equal to I will say V1 and the value was 20 centimeter cube this is given next the original volume as we know that the diameter is 200 mm and length is 900 mm so from this we can get original volume and if we divide the change in volume by original volume we would be getting the volumetric strain. After this, I'll say that therefore, volumetric strain is given by E suffix V is equal to change in volume upon original volume. Therefore, volumetric strain is equal to change in volume, it is 20 centimeter cube so here i would be converting it into 20 into 10 raised to 3 mm cube divided by 5 by 4 diameter is 200 so 5 by 4 into 200 square multiplied by length which is 900 so from this i will be getting volumetric strain that comes out to be 7.07 .07 into 10 raised to minus 4 now once we have got volumetric strain, let us see the first question. The question is we have to calculate internal pressure developed. 
so remember here i am writing an empirical formula it means the relation between volumetric strain and internal pressure that is very very important for this problem so i'll say that since volumetric strain is given by here we have an empirical formula that is equal to it is pd upon 4 te into 5 minus 4 mu so this formula we have to remember this formula gives the relation between volumetric strain and internal pressure the formula is volumetric strain is equal to pd upon 4 te into the bracket 5 minus 4 mu so from this i will say that volumetric strain was 7.07 into 10 raised to minus 4 is equal to internal pressure is what we have to calculate diameter 200 4 into thickness is given in the problem that is 8 mm young's modulus since it is not specified here i will use the value as 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 that is for steel and 5 minus 4 into mu it is also not mentioned so i'll take mu as 0.3 and whatever values i have assumed i will write in the bracket that is assuming capital e is equal to 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square and mu that is poisson's ratio as 0.3 so these two values we have assumed now as we can see from this problem we have to calculate internal pressure so we would be shifting all values on one side that is small p will be equal to 7.07 10 raised to minus 4 into 4 into 8 into 2.1 10 raised to 5 divided by 200 into the bracket 5 minus 4 into 0.3 so from this I will be getting the answer of internal pressure that is 6.25 Newton per mm square our first answer this much is the internal pressure which is developed inside the cylinder given now the second question is hope stress or you can say circumferential stress so after this I'll write down since hope stress is given by We know the formula it is pd upon 2t so therefore hoop stress will be equal to internal pressure just now we have calculated it is 6.25 diameter is 200 thickness is 8 mm so if we calculate from here hoop stress value comes out to be 78.13 newton per mm square this is the second answer and with this we complete the question